Hey there, today we're going to be going through how to set up call only ads within Google Ads and the best practices to do so. So if you don't know what a call only ad, it's basically something that looks like this. So it's a usual search ad that has the link um, for the website in the top half and then it has also a call button here as well as an option to visit the website at the bottom. So it's a very stripped down version of a search ad that we see in Google Ads but it's also an additional function that you can use, especially for service-based businesses or local businesses. We just want people who are seeing the ads to pick up the phone and it can be super effective to do so. So we're gonna go through how to set this up and what you can do to actually go ahead and make it as best as possible. So there's two ways you can go about it. If you already have an existing campaign, you can add it directly from there. But if you haven't got a campaign set up, you can go ahead and create a new one and use a leads campaign that goes for search ads as well as phone calls. And you can input the phone number and go through the ads process of setting up the new ads to sell this advertisement for call only. However, we're gonna assume that you already have a campaign set up. If you don't have a campaign set up, you can follow my tutorial in the previous video that goes through a full in-depth tutorial on how to do so and it'll give you all the best practices to make sure the ad that you set up from scratch is the best that it could possibly be before optimizations. But moving into the actual advertisement itself, to set up a call only ad, what we can do is navigate to our ad section. So we wanna make sure that we haven't got anything selected. And you can see here, when we click on the ad button, you can see the call ad option appears. From there, it's gonna tell you to select a campaign. So like I said, it needs to be on the search campaign for it to apply correctly. So we're gonna select the one that we used for our testing in the previous tutorial video. And then once we've selected that, you can see it has now selected the actual campaign we're gonna be applying it to here and then we can actually go ahead and input the necessary fills for the call ad itself. So I'm gonna put the phone number that I wanna direct it to, and for today's video, I'm gonna be using my marketing agency website as the example for the call ad. So as you can see, we do have our um, sort of inbound number here in the top left-hand corner, and this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be using in this case. So once we've got United Kingdom put in there, which is the country I'm currently in, it's gonna use the area code and I'm gonna put in the phone number same way it appears on my website so the call tracking all works correctly. From there, you're gonna to have to put in a final URL. So you can see it's recommended, but I would always advise to do so. The reason for that, like I said, it will allow you to actually have this visit website option come up here. So this is an additional function on top of the phone number. So if you have a nice landing page you want people to visit, um, it's something that I would be advised as it gives this option there. As you can see, if we remove that, it does remove the visit website option. But like I said, with Google Ads, it's a battle of real estate on that search page and you wanna have as much stuff going on as possible with extensions and you know long descriptions and things like that. Well, they're gonna put in the verification URL and like I said, so the verification URL is slightly separate. This is required. And the reason for that is because they need to verify that the number actually belongs to you. And the way they're gonna do that is sync up the number that you put in here with the website they were advertising, and then it will sync it up and understand that you are advertising that number. Next thing we'll do here, similar to the search ads, is we're gonna put in a display path. And this is what's gonna be appearing on the actual um, advertisement here in the top half as the URL you wanna put in. So we can say like Google Ads, or like marketing or something like that and add two of them. And then you can see it will then appear at the top here. So it's a great indication if you want people to know what they're clicking into. It does seem like a small detail, but people do really take notice. The next thing we're gonna be looking at here is the actual headlines. So with the headlines, they're gonna be 30 characters in this case, and you can only put two of them compared to the responses search ads where you can put up to 13. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some generic headlines that I've thought of here. So like number one, you know, Google Ads certified agency, and then like increased leads and sales um, in the bottom here. Cause like I said, we're gonna be advertising a Google Ads marketing agency. So the business name, we're gonna put in the name of your business here, and this is going to appear within the Google ad itself. And like I said, it adds a bit of sort of rapport with the person that's gonna be clicking on the ad, especially if you have a recognizable business within the area because they wanna know what they're clicking on before they click on it. So the phone number, you can see here, the business name will be attached to that phone number there. Next thing I'm gonna do here is put in two description lines. So these are gonna be up to 90 characters. So what I'm gonna do is paste in some ones that I had from previous advertisements, such as have our paid search experts review your Google Ads campaign today. We know you need it and find out where you're going wrong and how to improve your Google Ad campaigns immediately so you know trying to get people to click on the ad evoke a sort of res emotional response and again open up the page and um, the search ad to get more real estate on the page and be out of those competitors you'd be absolutely 
you know, mortified by the amount of people that don't utilize the space that they have within their search ads. Next part here, we have call, call reporting actually turned on. So you can see here in terms of the conversion action, it's going to use the account settings, which is call from ads. So this is going to be the default conversion tracking that it's going to do. So if you did want to set up your own conversion tracking, you can click on tools and settings and then go to conversions and then, you know, change the way you actually want the call conversions to be tracked when they do click on your ad. So if you want to change how long they're on the phone for, whether it's 60 seconds actually count as a conversion, for example, or if you want it to be one seconds, that's where you can do it there. But the default, I believe is 30 seconds and we'll leave it as that. You also have the option to add the additional tracking template and the URL options here, um, but we'll leave that for now. So once you've completed everything here, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of details in there. We can click on save new ad. And then once that has been saved, you can now see on the ad section, we now have a separate call only ad in place. And it's going to appear just like it will here on the search page. And like I said, it's super effective for when you want to have a, you know, a local service or new business advertised where it's not too many details and you just want people to pick up the phone and sell them over that call. But anyway, that's going to conclude the video. Like I said, if you want to watch a video tutorial on how to set up a search campaign or Google ad campaign from scratch and the best practice to do so, please click on the video on the screen now and it'll take you right to that.